don't believe in luck or in chance. Of course, things do appear to be random. The, the tossing of a coin has a random outcome, right? But what about the little things that have happened to you along the way? Things that appeared inconsequential at the time, but as it turned out, have completely changed the course of your life. Were they random or were they planned? I remember a long time ago moving from one city to another at a lonely and difficult time in my life. On the spur of the moment, I just needed to get out of the house and, and clear my head, so I went out for a long walk. And as things turned out, I, I walked past this dowdy little old church building. I decided to go in there one Sunday. That's where a few months later, I picked up a brochure to a Bible college, which in turn led me into the ministry that I'm involved in today. That's where I met the beautiful woman who is now my wife. All because I went out on a walk one afternoon, aimlessly turning left and right in the streets of an unfamiliar suburb. Random or planned, good luck or God's blessing. When you look back on your life, how do you see it? I don't believe in random chance, in good luck or in bad. It seems to me that if I believed in luck, I couldn't believe in God because this God whom Jesus came to reveal to us, well, He's a God who's in control of the whole universe. This God who Jesus came to tell us about is a God who isn't at all surprised by anything that's ever happened in all of history, be it big or small. Matthew chapter 10, verses 29 to 31. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny, yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father? And even the hairs of your head are all counted. So do not be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. Luck, it seems to me, presumes that there's no one in control. I don't believe that for one minute because according to Jesus, God is in control of even the smallest details of my life and indeed of your life too. He knows how many hairs we have on our heads. He, he doesn't miss a thing. So no, I, I don't believe in luck. Your God knows you. He loves you and he's involved in every aspect of your life in the minutest detail. Nothing is too big or too small to take to him. Nothing is too big or too small to invite him into. Nothing is too big or too small in which to ask for his blessing. Nothing, it's God's word, fresh for you today.